us tonight for the uh, launch and opening of the Vertical Gallery Project and the translation work by Laura, Nat, and Ty. Come on in. Um, as a, a lot of you know, this project is kind of in conjunction with the uh, Camosun Visual Arts Department. And it's a project space that Open Space makes available for you know some of the young emerging artists in the city to inhabit and kind of be creative with. Um, it's a well, we kind of have dedicated this this area for the Vertical Gallery project, which has a bit of history. It used to be a vitrine on the wall, like an actual cabinet, and the program would have a, a, a replica. And the idea was to do a proposal for this cabinet and then they would bring it in here. So over the years, we've kind of expanded it a little bit, given them a bit more uh, creative freedom. And so this year, the, the artists who got to inhabit this space are Laura Rechwan, Rechwan. Rechwan yeah. Nathaniel Churchill, and Ty dunkley Willen. And I wanted to congratulate you guys on a great proposal and project here in the state. I had the pleasure of reviewing all of the submissions and you know, getting to see the different ideas that the artists had and really appreciated this group and the collective's effort to engage with each other and kind of explore the idea of translation and using audio and video and other kind of elements uh, as a way to explore different ideas. And they're going to tell us a little bit about what's gone into the, to the project, what they started with. But part of what I think has been a real interesting aspect of this project space is the, the actual process. So working together, working with us, uh, and just developing, working with Miles and Jacqueline and Helen here at Open Space, just the idea of kind of coming into a, a context and really, you know, like seeing what you can do and, you know, kind of stepping up to it. So I'm happy of what they've come up with and it's been great working with you guys and I'm really interested to hear you, uh, hear you talk about it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you Doug, and, you. and yeah. thank you for letting us keep this project so organic and letting it flow with the space and allow that process to to really form itself. Oh, where do I start? I'll start with I'll start with uh, why we collaborated, I guess, because for this project, it's been this thing collaboration with commotion has been running for a while, but we're the first year to choose to collaborate. So for us, it was like we had been exploring separately and through studio critiques and our own practices separately we'd been exploring the same concepts and the same um, the same ideas the same we were asking the same questions so what made the most sense was for us to work together and when we're all exploring concepts that involve shared experience and human connection it made a lot of sense for us to work in a group so that we could discuss this human connection and really process it. Um, I guess I'll explain sort of what we did technically with the camera. Um, <clears throat> we had the original idea of going and walking along Victoria's coastline for kind of up to eight hours. It started as 24 hours and I don't know, it seemed it's different projects that led to this and instead of this long coastline walk we decided what if we took this stretch of beach and instead of walking at our normal speed slow our walk down to a small fraction of what it normally is and so as we walked along the beach we had the camera cradled and our walk was this slow and it became not even a walk anymore it was more just this connection with following the, the line of that this camera wanted to go along, along the beach almost like, like an entity itself that needed to be fed along like an incubation or growth line mm -hmm. yeah for me it was like the camera had its own path and I was merely the vessel that was carrying it along it and giving with the slow pace enough time to fully absorb your surroundings and be present in the moment uh, and then it's quiet right now. We did hours of sound play, basically. Just um, play, really. We're not musicians. No. It's just. <laughs> we had a playing. traditional drum and. Yeah, yeah I had my handmade drum. Tambourines, shakers, ocarina. simple, simple 
It's kind of electric synthesizer, early kind of yeah. gadgetry. Um, <laughs> we just played with that for the night following this, which was a uh, kind of a reflection. Five six it. hours yeah. quietly talking, or sorry, uh, silent. Film. Yeah. yeah. Our original um, our original proposal mentioned that we were going to be making sound throughout this entire video and a change in our environment when it really boiled down to completely silent walkthrough and then. Uh, the an engagement player. between each other through mm -hmm. sound exploration. Mm -hmm. After we completed the walk, the sound exploration and the play was really just about trying to channel the energy that we had uh, invoked with the walk. Really trying to get back into that and that healing and the the meditative quality the pace to of it. Our walk. Yeah. Um, and then in editing, uh, this is like with the real life slowing down our speed. We then took all our uh, sound recording and slowed that down in editing and that took us not long to realize that we didn't want the original audio mm -hmm. that we had recorded because it was much too quick. Mm -hmm. It was real time how we were playing it and so if we'd walked this slow we just slowed it mm -hmm. way down. It matched the speed of this and it matched I think our, our uh, I like that we had, we did have a very clear intention when we did start this project of what we wanted to look at uh, by the end of it, but throughout our process of doing it, it changed dramatically and almost to a point where it created itself. Like we were, all had inputs into the project, but the project, I can't really, I don't feel super attached to it because I know it's its own, it's its own creature. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain. It's become its own thing that we've yeah. we all kind of directed energy towards it and it Yeah, we all, we all we all put we all put an in came, yeah. Yeah. We all put an in intuition into it and then it sort of manifested itself along those lines what we wanted it to be cuz the audio even though we we slowed it down and we did a minimal amount of edits, it was kind of a turning point for us, I guess when we put it onto the video and said, hey, and saw things those things are up. lining up. Yeah. Um, then maybe we should keep it that yeah. way. And that was, that was a really what big was, click right for us. <laughs> also, the mix of diegetic sound worked really well with the tempo of these waves constantly. And then the, I think the drum beat was the main one because it, mm -hmm. it ties everything. <laughs> but it when it slowed it down, it almost matched the waves perfectly. Mm -hmm. and they played with each other. It's almost um, like a heartbeat. Yeah, the breath of the universe. It's like um, I kind of I try to relate it back to a sine wave. Like almost all, all the art that I do is back to a sine wave, the rise and fall, of, the universe. <laughs> yeah, the repetitive pattern, the the continual motion, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but it, it evolves as it mm -hmm. does this. The mechanics quote. The mechanics the, quote. The definition of translation that um, we found in motion in which all particles of a body move with the same velocity along parallel paths <coughs> is translation in mechanical yeah. terms. And then we uh, just to, just maybe an ending point because I don't know. I think we've encompassed most of it. Um, when we do our projects, our intention is to have everything to line up to come together. This doesn't always happen. However, when it does, it's when the project feels like it's captured the energy or wavelength that we've tried to transmit in the first place. So when we set out to do a project, we have an original intention, but we know... No strict guidelines. Either. Right, right. Mm -hmm. No rules to Let the project, I guess. We create a, um, an order, like a system of order, and then we let it grow within that system. Mm -hmm. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen or what's going to line up. But when we did put it together, there was this, um, this point in the audio where, um, what, what is it called? It's feedback. It, it is like a huge amount of feedback, and all of a sudden, um, it's pulled away, and then um, as it's being pulled away, a seagull flies across. So it's like there's these things that line up when you don't plan them to line up, and I feel like it's that's the most successful yeah. thing because you never planned it, but it's like you're in this process of creating this thing that wants to be created. Tell me a story. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. This was a fantastic experience. And Miles and you guys for all the help. With Miles, yeah, so much. <laughs> I'm taking that. <laughs> uh, since you kind of segued to audience participation, uh, are there any questions? Any kind of comments yeah, of or questions for the artists? Are those mirrors part of the installation? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. I have a question. 
What originally made you guys have the urge to collaborate with each other? Um, We've known each other for eons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, through, I mean, being in the same program where you're in a cohort program, you're with the same people every day and you're experiencing the same class and the same workload. You get to know each other. You get to know well. each other and we pretty quickly realized that we were working on the same sort of metaphysical concept kind of area. So when it, when there was an opportunity for us to show, it was like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, we could combine. We could, we could do what we've yeah. already been doing, you yeah. know? And really give it life, put its put its legs under what we've already been working on together. So, perfect. Um, sorry, I just want to check the tones here. Like, um, I'm interested. What's the significance with the mirrors? I I really like that play. Um, brings a lot of more dimension to the art, especially the reflections of the walls. Uh, I'm um, just curious. Dave. Doug originally he wants us to engage the space, mm -hmm. and that was the main project, like to engage the space. Uh, and more using than, the 360 more than that more than the simple projection yeah, like yeah. <clears throat> even with the one projector it was it played with the stairs and everything but it, wasn't, but it was just it one wasn't, image yeah, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. we wanted to have an immersive 360 degrees kind of environment to enter into mm -hmm. and it gives it um, to me it gives it a tactility and a an encompassing that it wouldn't immersion. have otherwise. Yeah, definitely an immersion. It's fun, the repetition of these three globes and then the three. We weren't planning on that, but I think it really, really fits in with the, the entire kind of the a repetition yeah, the, of imagery. And the circle immersion. at the top and the mirrors and the orbs. Yeah. There is definitely encouragement to, like, especially working off of proposals, you know, where you have the ideas and it's like coming and just installing a proposal can be interesting, but given the opportunity to inhabit the space and kind of be in the space and having a bit of time to kind of mm -hmm. try something out and push it a bit further, push it a Walk bit further. The windows out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And yeah. and what this is what was kind of fun and this is why I really kind of stressed the process as being important that it wasn't just okay come in and set it up, but it's like, well where are you? What else occurs to you? Mm -hmm. Like the working process together, I still want to hear you talk a little bit more about like the collaborating and how it sure. how it was, was for you. But but just working with other people, working with the space and and as you're saying like the different things would pop out where you're like hey wait that's mm -hmm. pretty cool or just logistical uh What's like it? having to block the light and it's like well how can we approach this right and how can we approach it creatively rather than just kind of applying a, a rule right? yeah um, but i am curious working. coming into it and because you you all have your own practice but then to work collaboratively where did you feel like you were kind of hitting a line going okay now i have to give it up to the group or like that kind of Ooh. space, right? Yeah. Because with, it doesn't all with, work, right? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. all work. With, um, with the journey itself, having the camera and like Nat Mad mentioned with having it like, like a baby kind of where you have to cradle it, um, it was strenuous walking that slow. To, so to have also three people and be able to pass it's a it off. one person's job. Yeah. We yeah. didn't mention that also. It was, it was it one person camera, and then there was a cord with the microphone, so they became one person almost. Whoever was mm -hmm. filming was like wow. this slowly, and the cord came out, and the person with the microphone was mm -hmm. but following the, the Back to the, the question, why are we working collaboratively? Yeah. And, what what and was it like? What was it like? But what was it like? What occurred, what didn't work, what did work? Mm -hmm. like, kind of that, that talking through the process, because that's really where the, the interesting things come out. Not just what you think would be great, but yeah. really what did you have to deal with that maybe... Well, me, me and Ty, I, 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 I snap a little bit, so I apologize to Ty if I was a bit, <laughs> a bit rude during the process, but yeah, when, like the last two days installing, we've been, it's been kind of heady. I mean, it's, it's been, been it's, yeah, yeah, scary. Yeah, but, that's but part of working with each other is knowing that you know you are best friends, and if you're going to explode, that tomorrow you're going to be fine. I mean, things just and that was like dealing with like being so close to each other that you can express every single emotion you ever want to express and know that you're going to be friends after. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and in terms of being in the process with that knowledge. It was like, okay, I'm getting really tired here, but I know that these people around me will take the camera, will take the burden, will keep right. moving us mm -hmm. forward. And then because there was the one person with the microphone and the one person with the camera and the other person was... Transient. It's was transient, yeah, it, and was able to absorb the other two's I felt antsy when I was in that position because I was like observing you two working and it was like this 
anxious kind of, I should we be participating, our, but I can't, there's not enough jobs. Yeah. All our attention to the camera yeah. and to the recording when we're doing that. So the other person doesn't get any attention, they're completely yeah. secluded from this, it's, 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 it was a kind of... And all these, mm -hmm. yeah. all these people passing us and stuff, we didn't notice them because yeah. we're completely we're, focused on this one task. Yeah. But the third person does, oh, they... Hi. Yeah, they get they, to... If they try to talk to us... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the other interesting thing too, was because it was a aphonic silent journey, we weren't talking. When we were passing off the camera and passing off the microphone, it all had to be <coughs> said through eye cues and hand gestures. We could not, we couldn't really communicate it through English. We had to rely on our connection to get down the beach successfully. What beach is this? Uh, Squamalt Lagoon, uh, oh, Coburg Peninsula. And then we saw it on the map and we're like, well, there's a perfect stretch. Mm -hmm. yeah. We make that one hour walk side. stretch like as it's long as we need to. Yeah, yeah, in normal time this walks an hour, but when you're <laughs> shuffling along. Okay, so how can you talk about the working process together how, and then translating that for an audience? Because now you've installed something, it's an immersive kind of uh, mm -hmm. project where the, the audience is implicated, whether it's through the mirror or being hit by the projection or being walk, inside the, in yeah. 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 so how do you feel the working together in the project and your tensions then translate to the to the work? I think mainly it was just this like slowing down to meditate as we as we focused on the recording as we walked across the beach so mm -hmm. uh, just as something I picked up maybe today as a result of the work, just standing here, seeing it installed for the first time, having a couple of my classmates stand with me and discuss the work, I was able to remove myself from it as the artist and I was able to see yeah. things that I hadn't necessarily seen, like, you know, for instance, just the way that that crops, it could be different yeah. to someone and someone else, so. <coughs> When we were making it, it was really meditative, and it was really slow, and it was healing. And then to have people come in here and say, hey, I just want to sit here and watch this forever, and have multiple people want to sit together and experience it together is success to me. Any um, more comments or questions? Yes. What does the title mean to you? What does translation <laughs> translation. Well, oh, isn't that a big question? Yeah. There was a few. The mechanics one came through research, finding it and realizing it aligned with our like our original concepts, I guess. Uh, um, translation. Can, can we go back to what our original concept was <laughs> um, for this title? When we made the proposal, was that we were going to do a mural, a, a painted mural here, um, dealing with like a very large range of symbology. Um, just symbology is a big encompassing factor yeah. that close around us. And translating these kind of, what would you call well, them, these views, these concepts, translating our ideas. Yeah. Um. The energy into the recording, almost <coughs> translating our movement and our, our walk into this. Mm -hmm. Kind of our own life experiences. We want we to make too. available what we experience day to day, moment to moment, to the public. Our connection and with the source. Mm -hmm. Trying to, trying to, I don't know. Trying to, <laughs> yeah. Bring it. Yeah. To broader. Translating, sense. the word translation has so many different meaning meanings. It's got the, the mechanics where its body's moving along a path, and then it's got the language where we're talking to each other, which is encompassed in the fact that we weren't talking, and then the fact that we weren't using English, and then there's the other layer in that we're translating our movements through the space and that the camera becomes a mediator for us as a translation of our movements. It was very, very many layers mm -hmm. to the title. I just kept thinking about it and it just kept fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Intuitive title choice, but one that fit yeah. conceptually. Sure. Mm -hmm. Some other comments? Oh, up there? Oops. Yes? We're walking the beach and sharing the camera and we're bringing us all together. And there's a real confluence there. What I'm interested in is your comments about how uh, it became something else, the sort of organic quality of it. Was there some point at which it seemed like your energies were melding or merging your personal energies? 
the was sound. Was there a point that that happened, or did it just sort of... Dude, yeah, I think so. Right after this video was filmed, we did the sound exploration, Stand and it was that point. To the next day. It was the sound actually was like 24 hours. Mm -hmm. The sound was like a full day of like being in this kind of world. From like mute to expressing kind of how we uh, how we wanted to. <clears throat> I don't know. Expressing this through the sound is what we hope to do. Yeah. Yeah. Goes on between your own personal connection and the land, and between you and each other. You can really feel that in this piece, mm. and, I, and I think that's really cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Because I, th I think maybe we didn't. We processed the connection through the sound, but it was there more subconsciously through the video. So maybe that's it. We have the sound turned down so that we can talk, but I think that's it. It's it's really a strong sound piece. There's a lot yeah, going on right. here, and the video is kind of the, the you know something else to, to look at, but something to guide you through to the mm -hmm. sound. You had your hand up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel like there's like identifiable parts that are definitely you, or is there like no. you can't really tell? Where I can't. Yeah. No. I don't see myself in this piece. I see something that's us. Combination of Definitely all of us. us. Yeah. yeah. I can't single out any kind of piece that's like, oh, that's me. I did that. No. 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 We're, no. It we're came very fluid. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it is very like a unity, a unity kind of based work. It was. It does. It was a very yeah, tripod. It was a very tripod <laughs> working method. You you it's can't have a dipod. You gotta have the tripod. Uh, it was like when one of us retired, it was yeah, trade yeah, off. And then yeah. at that I point, it's like it I've got this like idea. <laughs> it was like clockwork. At every yeah. point of this, when someone was like drifting off or like counting out or like oh, I gotta go eat or something, someone else is right there to be like, all right, now let's pick this up and keep this going. Mm -hmm. That's how this project got done. Is that. Whenever one of us was needing to tap out, one of us was willing to step up and mm -hmm. continue that project. And I think also... Or can do that task. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and also, you ask if we feel like there's one part that's more, more us than another, but every time one of us had an idea, the first thing to do was ask the other two. It was like, hey guys, I have this idea. And often we had the same idea at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's just like we had the same, so, we're on the same... Yeah, I... I I can't say that I would pick out a part that is mine. Solve, yeah. Has this working together in this project inspired? Will you work together again? Are you going to do another? Yeah, we're actually yeah. having a. We have a plan, uh, and indefinite time range. But our original thing is 24 hour video. We need to do a 24 hour video and we're thinking each one of us comes up with a 24 hour video in 10 years or whatever time like and we go, we pick a city to view it in, to, to show it in. We all meet there uh, a month prior and create a sound, a soundscape for it one month prior and then we separate, do it. The separate videos? The separate videos yeah, will be shown as a Yeah, the videos overall where we're living separately. Yeah, exactly. The film is back. And then shown yeah, in yeah, one city. Yeah, yeah, and then shown in one city where we gather, make that soundtrack. And then we just know that that soundtrack is going to have these crazy coincidences matching up on each of these videos. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it happens. Yeah, and there's an interesting confirmation here. Because at the beginning of this project, it's like, okay, well, we're going to try to have everything line up. We're going to set the energy out so that they fall into place. And, it's and then place. it's like, it did fall into place. Yeah. Yay! So wait, 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 wait. Can we do this again? Yeah. <laughs> Does it always happen like yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> so definitely continue. Any other comments or questions? Yeah. Yes. Um, it's kind of a statement, but I'm extremely proud of all three of you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jamie. Like, like, producing art together and creating something so amazing and peaceful and kind of out of the norm for everyone here, supposedly. So, yes, very good job. I'm proud of all three thank of you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Good clap. If you <laughs> Well, I think that's a good note to end up. Thank you very much. <laughs>